Today we're going to be learning how to set up and use Lightspeed Restaurant's self-order menu in kiosk mode. So the first thing you want to do is download the Lightspeed self-order menu app on your iPad. Then you want to open up the settings on your iPad, scroll down on the left-hand side menu until you find the menu app, select that, and then under account, you need to enter in your username and your password for Lightspeed, plus your host. So to find your host, you simply need to go to the restaurant manager and then look at the URL. You'll see the first little part of the URL is your server. And then that's what you need to input under the host just before where it says .posios.com. So for example, here I see my server is NAE1. So I'm just going to input that before the .posios.com for my host. So we want to switch the mode to kiosk mode. And for the currency, you can select either euros, dollars, or none if you use a different currency. You can adjust the duration for your inactivity countdown. And you also have a customer information prompt. So you could, if you want to, you can do no prompt, you can ask for a name, or you can ask for a name and phone number, which will then send a text message to your customer when their order is ready. Um, this is an add-on feature, the ability to send a text message. So if you are interested in that, just speak to your account manager. So once you've input those settings, you do need to do some setup in the Lightspeed Restaurant Manager as well. So on your floor plan, you need to create a table to link the self-order menu to. So I'm just here, I'm just going to add a table on my floor plan. And we recommend putting it as a takeaway table so that you can easily bring up the orders through the takeout screen. So I'm just going to put that there at a section on my floor plan where it's not really in the way. You can also go to the settings, menu settings, and if you want to adjust the background image of the menu home screen, here's the place to do it. So the, the image needs to be hosted online, so it needs to have a URL. And all you need to do is copy paste the URL here and hit save in the top right corner. Now it's very likely that you may have some categories that you don't want to appear on the self order menu. For example, let's just say you serve alcohol in your restaurant, but you don't want customers to be able to order alcohol on the self order menu. All you need to do is add a discount to these categories because any category that has a discount will automatically not show up on the self order menu. And it can just be a blank discount. It doesn't actually have to do anything, but as long as there is a blank discount or any kind of discount in that category, it automatically won't show up in the self order menu. So now we can go back to our iPad, we can exit the settings and we can open up the self order menu app. The first thing we need to do is set the table. So we're just going to select set table and we're going to select that table that we created on the floor plan. So the self order kiosk table. There are some other uh, settings you can put on. For example, you can have a delay between orders if you want to. Most of the time when you're in kiosk mode though, you won't want to have a delay between orders. And then we can just hit save to save these settings. And now we're ready to use the self order menu. So you can just tap the screen to start your order and you'll see that it automatically links to your Lightspeed restaurant products. And I'm not seeing all of my categories because I put blank discounts in all of the categories that I didn't want to show up on my self order menu. So you'll see here, it's also really important to put photos and descriptions for all your products. It's just going to look much nicer when you view it from the self order menu if there are photos. So I can go ahead and add items. If I'd like to get more information, I can select the eye for information to see a large photo plus the description of the item. If you select a product that has auto pop up modifiers, those modifiers will pop up automatically. So you can easily add modifiers there. However, even if the product doesn't have auto pop up modifiers, when you select review order, you'll have an option to edit your items. So when you select edit, you'll get access to add a note or any modifiers that you may have attached to these products. And then when the customer is ready, they can go ahead and select pay. And on the payment screen, you're automatically going to see any supported payment methods. 
So supporter payment methods would be certain types of integrated payments, such as uh, credit card payments, depending on which country you're in. Um, if you have an integrated PMS, if you're a hotel, you can also have the option to uh, charge an order to a room. And lastly, you can create a no payment payment method called pay at counter, which will allow customers just to pay at the counter. So to set up the no payment method, I've just gone into the, my payment types in the restaurant manager and I've created a payment type called pay at counter. The type is no payment and very important, it needs to be visible in the self order menu app. So there is a setting on your payments if you want them to be visible in the self order menu app or not, depending on if it's a supported payment type for self order menu or not. So in this situation, I'm going to use the pay at counter option. So it's asking me to input my name. So I'm just going to input the name there. And now it says complete. So if you've used an integrated payment method, such as paying with a credit card or charging to your room, there's actually no interaction required by your staff in Lightspeed Restaurant. However, if you're using the pay at counter option, there is a little bit of interaction that needs to be done in the Lightspeed Restaurant POS by your staff members. So you'll notice in Lightspeed Restaurant POS that the self-order kiosk table will go red when there's an order on it. To bring up this order, you can actually select the takeout tab at the bottom of your screen. And here you, we can easily see all of our self-order kiosk orders that have ha selected the pay at counter option. So these are under the accepted orders. So all we need to do is go to the pay screen, swipe left to void the pay at counter no payment payment type, and zero that out, and then apply the correct payment method. For instance, this time the customer wants to pay cash, so we can see the change, and then we can finalize it. So anyone that wants to use this pay at counter workflow just needs to follow these steps in order to be able to enter the correct payment method and finalize those orders. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the self-order menu in kiosk mode. If you do have any questions, please reach out to our support team.